Hey guys, today we're going to talk about widening and adding warmth to your mix. This one was on a request of one of my followers. So let's dive right into it. I am Ander Verheven, I am audio engineer, producer and educator. And if you guys want to follow specific courses, hit me up. I can teach you about doing a whole production or just in a few contents that you like to hear about. So please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below. So we're going to go into the content. This time I have used a piano. This is the Korg M1, very famous piano for house production. Every house producer uses this one. I also do it. I'm very guilty about it. It's the plugin version. It's not the original version. I know guys who has the original version. One of my friends has one. Sounds amazing. Check it out. But um, yeah, the question is... How do I add more warmth and more depth into it while I'm mixing? Well, this is the, the piano without anything. It's just bypassed from every plugin. It already sounds amazing, but if you yeah, want to add more widening, that's possible. We're gonna do this video in two separate ways. This part is the widening part. As you can see, I already played with this one. So I'm gonna put on the wider of Infected Mushroom. It's a free plugin. You guys should check it out. It's, they are amazing. They're making really great plugins. And this one tries to keep up with the face issue. The moment you hit this part, yeah, they, that's gonna be very much difficult. This is very much spread out. If we take a scope and look at this part here, this is how it sounds without the plugin. Putting it on and moving up the sliders. You see instantly getting more stereo feel. Also pay attention on this one because we are getting in a dangerous zone. If I'm putting it up more, Pushing it right to its limits. At this moment I have a big problem. A lot of content of the piano disappears when I hit the mono button and some of the clubs are having mono systems. So the whole piano should disappear in the mix or getting completely cancelled out because um, it has face issues. So yeah, to, do, to solve this problem, uh, there's a very old trick and I thought Hardwell also mentioned this one. Making a copy of your channel, panning this one to the left, this one to the right. You get a little bit more stereo field. Not much, but it's also a mixing technique. I also have a video that I want you guys to, to see, that's later on in this video. So we're moving over, uh, oh, we're still going to talk about some of the plugins that I have here for stereo imaging. We also have a doubler over here, which is really nice. You can play with this one. Yeah. You easily hear the stereo whiting. That's th this is really a problem. And the more I move over, the more I have a problem over here. But yet again, it's for an effect. It's not really for final mix. This one is also as well a nice plugin. Uh, set it back to its original state. Zero. Yes. And we're gonna make it a little bit more wide, wider. This is beautiful. This is giving more dimension in your in your track, as you can see it over here. You see more mono, getting more mono, and now it's getting more wider. Now it doesn't mean that if you make it more wider, it automatically sounds better. As I have noticed, it sounds more lagging than more powerful. So, <clears throat> sorry. So the next uh, thing I want to show you is some harmonic richness. I have a saturation up over here. This one is mentioned in my free VST plugins. 
and we're gonna listen what it can do with your mix. It's getting more filthier, so more louder. That's that's all that happens with this uh, plugin. Uh, we have a second one that's uh, tube saturation. Also, the harmonics are getting more over here. We're gonna use the analyzer spawn. You see it adding more harmonics to it. As you can see over here. It's nice. And what you also can do is use the tape saturation. This one gets rid of the high end part over here. Now I made a video that I'm going to show you how I use it with in combination with a mixing board. Uh, my mixing board is the Soundcraft and it uses the Ghost preamps. And it's really nice. Once you get back here, I can show you guys uh, or let you hear what the difference is between the original uh, recorded piece and the piece that is getting out of my console. Hey guys, this is a recording of uh, the workflow that I'm using a mixing board. Um, we have the piano over here. I made a mix down. This is the mix down file and I am sending it through a channel from the mixer back into the system so it goes out it goes out of the box and goes back into the box it runs right through these channels over here and because it uh, the question was going wider uh, because we turn these knobs over these two are using for wider mixes and it gets through a channel strip over here and this channel strip is actually a preamp. And a preamp makes sure that it sounds a bit warmer because your signal goes right into a channel strip and goes back into the system. So we're going back to the normal tutorial. Welcome back guys. So you have seen how I use it with a mixing board. So we have, I had loaded up here the piano. This one is from my mixing board and this one is the original file that are playing without any plugins on it and we're going to listen to the difference between it in comparison the loudness is the same but listen to the difference what happens with the track if i can give you guys a good tip close your eyes and while i'm toggling keep in mind which one is the the one without the mixing board and the one with the mixing board and uh, yeah, I love to see your guys commenting down below in the box because I am very curious if you like the, the, the mixing board or do you like the digital one. There we go. If you ask me personally, I can hear the difference. I hear instantly on the board that the board is, although it has the same loudness, it sounds louder. It sounds more rich, more stereo field uh, automatically without using any plugin on it. And I can show you guys the, the imaging. I have the imaging over here. So this is from the Korg itself. <laughs> This one is from my mixing board. It's instantly getting more stereo feel. You can also see it over here. This is straight out of the plugin. It's getting instantly back in mono. Almost mono. And this is the mixing board. Like it has more, more, yeah harmonic around it that makes it more wider although it's attempt to make it more wider because it still is the 
same stereo file, but because it runs over two of the preamps, every preamp is different. If I set up 10, 1073 Neve preamps, they all sound different, no matter how hard I push them. So, and that's what happening with your, with your console. I have two faders and these two faders sound different from each other and that's giving you more the idea that there's a stereo field going on. So I hope you guys learn much about this video and I see you guys next week.